What is up party people? My name is Daryl and today we're gonna to be looking at the Lifter LMS plugin. Now what this plugin allows you to do is to basically turn your website into a, an online course website. So for example, I'll just go ahead and give you a, a quick little rundown of this. So if you wanna start hosting courses on your website with the Lifter LMS plugin, you can do that. Now I'm gonna kinda of go over how it works. I'm kinda of gonna you know, go over the prices, I'll review it to see if this plugin's for you or not. I'll also talk about its competitor, LearnDash, and kind of give you the pros and cons of each. So this right here is the Lifter LMS plugin, and it allows you to basically run online courses on your website. So here I have three courses, like I have a, you know e-commerce and you know just whatever, whatever courses. So here I clicked on a course and I get some description of it. Right here we have some little bit more information like you can put categories, you can put tracks. And then right here you can kind of get a brief synopsis of the course and what it entails. And what's really cool about this also is that each user gets their own um, personal dashboard. They also get achievements, they get certifications. There is a lot that you can do uh, with this plugin. So for instance, over here, I'll go to my courses and you know, you can get, like I said, certifications, you can give achievements, you can give memberships, uh, like a bundle course, that's what memberships usually are. And then here, you know, are the courses I'm already taking and I can go ahead and just click on it and I can just go ahead and take the course. You can also set prerequisites and stuff like that. Like if you want to take one course before another, you can go ahead and do that as well. But let me just kind of give you the back end and show you how you actually would build a course with the Lifter LMS plugin. So this is basically is like their, their kind of like their visual experience of creating a course. And I found that this was just one of the most easiest ones to use. So right here we have different sections and just like udemy.com where, I mean, I, I teach a lot of courses on udemy.com as well. And Lifter LMS kind of follows the same sort of platform and they even have almost the same uh, drag and drop experience as Udemy as well. So for instance, right here you have a section. So this can be like, you know, of uh, math, right? You're teaching about math, and then what are you gonna teach about math? Well, this can be like decimals, the next lesson could be about fractions, the next section could be about addition, and then the next section you could talk about, you know, advanced math, and then you can go about to transformations, vertexes, matrices, whatever, you know, whatever advanced math you wanna teach, you can go ahead and put it right there. So for instance, right here, I have this section, but let's just say I wanna add in another lesson right here. Over here, is the elements so we have a section lesson and then existing lesson now i want to just go ahead and drag over the le the lesson right there now right here once you you've done that you can click on open wordpress editor and then right here is where you can actually edit the lesson now i just have a new tutorial on this same plugin as well so it's about an hour and 50 minutes long i do teach how to use lifter lms in depth in this specific tutorial so if you are interested in learning how to build a complete online course with WordPress using Lifter LMS, which is probably the number one plugin for WordPress, uh, you can check out this tutorial. But let me just kind of keep keep going, you know, keep going and kind of give you the, the rundown here. So now that we've actually, you know, kind of edited the course, you can kind of add whatever you want. You can add in videos. Uh, you know, this would be basically where you enter in all of your content. And the great thing is that once you do this, you can kind of like visually just kind of drag and drop stuff. and. The cool thing is that when you drag stuff, it changes the lesson for you. So even over here, if I wanna change the section, it'll change the section. So if see right here, it's a section three. If I drag and drop it, it's now section two. So Lifter LMS kind of recognizes it and it kind of shows you how it works. Now, uh, if you wanna see how this, you know, this looks right here, let's go ahead and take one of my courses right here. So um, let's go ahead and click on get started. Now this is the, actually what people will see when they take your course. However, you can actually choose to have a sidebar on the side right here. I chose just to take it off, but if you wanna add a sidebar, you're more than welcome to do that. And you can also have quizzes in this, and it's really cool. And you know, you can make people retake quizzes. So let's say they don't pass the first quiz and they need to hit like a certain score. You can make people uh, retake it until they pass it, you know, just like a real college. And in my tutorial, I do cover most of that. So people right here can kind of watch the video. So we have Chris Badgett right here talking about how to use, you know, the plugin. And right here we can mark as complete. And then right here they get a little notification saying, hey, you guys are doing well. Congratulations. Keep going. And again, remember the people get certifications. They get uh, achievements. All, whatever you want to put in there, it's there. And right here you can add in like your own text. Now right here they just decided to add in links, you know, just because, you know, they want people to go to their website, which is totally cool, you know, but you can here have like a, a list of resources. You can put in hyperlink, you can put in whatever you want in there. And then if you want to scroll to the next lesson, you can just click on next lesson. And setting this up is pretty easy. I mean, I learned how to use this in about an hour, you know, just by just by messing around with it. 
So, um, you know, just, just by messing around with it, you'll get the brief understanding of it. Again, here under courses, you know, it's it's a clean interface. And I use the Astro theme here because the Astro theme does have some lift, Lifter LMS integration where you can kind of uh, position courses differently. You can add them in certain columns, etc. So now that I've showed you a little bit about the courses and other things, let's go ahead and take a look at their pricing. Now, I do have a specific link. If you guys are interested in the description below, you can try Lifter LMS for 30 days for just $1, which is pretty cool because that'll give you kind of enough time to mess around with it, see if it's for you. But, you know, for those of you who want or thinking about passive income, you know, courses are the most, one of the most profitable ways to make money because literally, you know, it's, it's, it's a digital product. You don't have to repair it. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to fix it up or nothing. It, it's there and it's continually generating you income. So to have an online course to teach something like Photoshop or something like that, it's a really hot topic because it's a great way to make passive income. So right, my link below, it will give you the Lifter LMS and their add-ons for 30 days for just $1. And they have tons of add-ons depending on what you're trying to achieve. Like they do have a Stripe add-on, they do have a, a PayPal, they have like, a, they have a bunch, you know? So um, that will actually give you access to everything right there. Now let's go and take a look at their add-ons really quick in case you don't wanna try that routes. So here are their add-ons right here. I mean, they have uh, Lifter LMS social learning together. Uh, private areas. I mean, there are just so many extensions you can have. Now, in my specific tutorial, I use the Stripe plugin. So I do have a link below that'll take you to uh, lifterlms.stripe. And I do have a coupon code. It's Wilson. It will save you 15% off any add-on that you get with Lifter LMS. But the reason why I chose Stripe is because with PayPal, people have to leave your websites. They have to log in on PayPal. They have to make an account. And I mean, nobody does that. I mean, do you really go to amazon.com and leave to go to PayPal and make an account? It's a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, it's a great secondary option, but to have it as your primary option, I mean, we're going into 2019. Nobody does that no more. You know, I used to teach that my tutorial maybe two, three years ago, but I don't. And also with Stripe, you can set it up how you can get recurring payments such as memberships or just whatever you want to add for your website. So in that regard, I think Stripe is a way better alternative than PayPal. So in my tutorial, I do show you how to create a Stripe account. I do show you how you can uh, purchase Stripe and then you know have recurring payments on it and have people check out directly on your websites. So the the plugin I, I use it for a while. It is you know it, it's very user friendly. I did like it. Now their other pricing is a little. Not I want to say competitive, but it is a little um, not high because if you're running an online school, a school three hundred dollars a year is really nothing. You know, it's like what like they take three courses, it pays for itself, right? But for those of you who are just starting out, you might want to try my solution of just getting the Stripe add-on. However, once you kind of rely on the plugin and you start to see more people enroll in your courses, I would definitely upgrade to something like the Infinity Bundle or even the universal bundle where you get like all of the all of the plugins, all of the extensions to make a really dynamic uh, learning place for your website. So you get, you know, uh, e-commerce add-ons, you get the marketing add-ons, you get, uh, you know, you get a bunch of cool stuff. You get their their own launch pad theme. I haven't even used that. So we'll, we'll have to we'll have to see how that looks. So that's the pricing for Lifter LMS. And again, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. You get a 30 day demo with my link below. So that'll kind of help you decide if it's for you or not. Now I chose Lifter LMS because I use LearnDash and LearnDash is probably one of their main competitors. And LearnDash is also a, a very, uh, it's a very great learning platform as well. Um, I can kind of give you, a, a, I guess, a, 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 a visual of it right now. So right here is like my available courses right here. And it, it almost works the same way as Lifter LMS, you know, they they do follow neck and neck with each other. However, LearnDash to me, it had some pro and it had some cons. Now, when I did my tutorial, I really messed around with both plugins. I had spent a lot of time with both and Lifter LMS kind of came out a little bit more ahead than LearnDash. The thing I did like about LearnDash though, is that their prices right here are enabled right here. Now, messing around with Le Lifter LMS, I really didn't see that feature. Maybe it was in there. I just felt that I couldn't add my prices to the courses, not unless I added some really dynamic CSS to it. But with uh, LearnDash, you're given that uh, that price right there. So go ahead and clicking on here. You can kind of see it's, it's it's somewhat of a visual, I mean, it's so much of a very similar interface. Let's kind of compare and contrast here. I'll just go ahead and give you all the, bo the, the, um, the comparison here. So looking at this course right here, we can kind of see it. And then this course right here. So the only thing, the only difference right here is that there's a sidebar right here and I chose 
In my tutorial, I show you how to use both. You can have the sidebar or not, but I just kind of like it full screen. So here is like the how it looks with Lifter LMS. It is a little bit more modern, I will say that. You know, you, it is a little bit more unique. The style is, I think, is a little bit more neater, and it, the the decor overall is more attractive. Um, over here, you know, it does look a little more bland. Um, it, to me, I, I felt it was a little bland. But then, of course, we can always design it. But out of the box, uh, out of both, I would say Lifter LMS is just a little bit more easier to use. I did use the Lifter LMS, I'm sorry, the Learn Dash uh, backend, and the backend was very confusing to me. That's really what I, I, I felt that I could not teach my, I mean, I could teach my viewers anything, you know, <laughs> I really can. But I, I felt that the learning, uh, the, the experience with Learn Dash was just a little more complicated. But remember, a lot of companies like Yoast use Learn Dash. But then again, with Lifter LMS, you know, you have Divi Space, um, Divi Learning, all those Divi websites, all of them use Lifter LMS. So it's really just preference on what you like. So if you are interested on learning how to use Lifter LMS plugin, I highly recommend it. You know, I, I do have to favor Lifter LMS over LearnDash. However, they are both great plugins and I, I, I'm not going to criticize either one saying they're bad. They're not bad at all. They're both really good. In fact, I use both of them. But I just prefer Lifter LMS over Learn Dash. But if you talk to someone else, they're gonna say, "Eh, I prefer Learn Dash, etc." You know how that argument goes. So you know how it is. So um, I will leave these links in the description below. If you are interested in learning how to use Lifter LMS on your WordPress website, you can check out my new tutorial. I just launched it today. It has around 1,200 views. Very surprised. You know, it has a lot of people interested in this because online courses are a great way to. It's a great way to make passive income. It's a great way to expand yourself. And you know, it's it's just, it's it's a great thing all around, you know, learning. Everyone likes to learn, you know? So uh, I hope this review is helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think about Lifter LMS below. I know that some people might like to use other learning platforms. Like I think there's like LearnPress or something like that. I used that one and I just didn't like it because um, I just feel that Lifter LMS was so easy. Like it was just so easy to learn. And I'm like, okay, we're, we're, we're going with the most intuitive here. Cause today it's really what's more intuitive than, yeah, it's, it's really what's most intuitive. Like that's really what wins. That's really what takes the cake nowadays. So uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite LMS plugin is or your theme. And um, uh, let me know if you like this review, let me know in the comments, make sure to like this video and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.